Hey, welcome back to the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge, and today we have Wild Chile. Chile, I... Uh, 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 okay. The narrator in this, he's British. He says Chile. Chile, I say Chile. It's, you know, Chile, but... I have a feeling it's meant to be pronounced with a different accent. Chile. I don't know. If you're from there, you can correct me. I don't know if you could do that in the comments, but still, the idea is... Wild Chile, Chile is a, a docu-series from National Geographic. Yeah, it's uh, 2018, and it's one season, which is comprised of only three 45-minute episodes. So, it's pretty uh, quick to get through. It's uh, I only watched one episode, though. It kind of got the, the point of it. Of course, it uh, talks about uh, that southernmost of... Uh, countries in South America, as it uh, pretty much, not for the water, for the Drake's Passage, uh, <clears throat> if it didn't, if that wasn't there, if the waters were a little bit lower, which, no, uh, no, they're just going to rise, um, if it was a little bit lower, they would practically connect, and they sort of do, because the Andes Mountains um, continue under the water, and at some points rise above it at different points along the way, creating little islands like South Georgia. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it, it connects to the pen our Antarctic Peninsula. So, you learned all that without actually having to watch the episode, but I, if you're into this kind of thing, if you like nature, if you like ideas of, uh, if you like seeing uh, worlds you probably will never go to if you don't already live there, um, this is your opportunity to see the creatures, to see the landscapes, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, but the life there is brutal. Everything down to the smallest little beetle uh, and all the way up to the biggest creature to ever exist on planet Earth, the blue whale, uh, they're all featured in this. Uh, we get to see penguins, obviously. We get to see dolphins. And uh, we get to see how the phytoplankton... We've seen that in other uh, National Geographic... Uh, documentaries that talk about this area, uh, but the phytoplankton, uh, if you ever want to do more research on how this world works, uh, do a search for phytoplankton, and you'll see that uh, they are responsible for so much of the life on this planet, more than almost anything. That's kind of crazy uh, how important they, how, they kind of, they spend a little bit of time on it, not as much as some other um, documentaries, but uh, yeah, they, they give a nod to it, and, and you get to see how all the waters and the lands and everything else connects in a way that uh, keeps these creatures alive, and then sometimes does its best to kill them. It's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rough land, uh, and it's not just all snow and mountains and everything else. There's lots of grassy plains and open areas, especially, you know, for a couple months out of the year when it hits uh, summertime, it's still cold, but uh, it, uh, some of the snow and ice melts away and you get to see some earth. Uh, but a lot of the time it's pretty dang cold. Uh, one of the most interesting things that I found uh, in this is the fact that uh, some people brought North American beavers, like 50 of them, to South America, to Chile, and let them loose, hoping that they would help help the fur trade down there. Well, uh, it worked really well. Uh, there's more. There's hundreds of thousands of them down there now, but they're also wreaking havoc on the natural environment, which, unlike trees in North America, some of the trees that they use to chew through and build dams with, they don't grow back. Not in the same way and not as easily so yeah it's their trouble um so beavers but yeah if you like cute adorable penguins and things like that uh yeah there's plenty of that but it, it there are points where it can get pretty gory it's a little bit there's a even a sad penguin sequence that uh yeah it, it's it's not an easy watch in most cases but hey what part of nature is uh this is this is if you're into this kind of thing yeah you know check it out do it but otherwise yeah we're gonna just move on to other things like tomorrow's episode which is already chosen and that is because 
tomorrow or at midnight tonight here on the West Coast, Moon Knight premieres from the Marvel Cinematic Universe Disney Plus original series Moon Knight starring uh, Oscar Isaac. Jeez, my brain is just not working. He's Poe Dameron in uh, Star Wars uh, sequels uh, uh, trilogy. So, uh, yeah, he plays Moon Knight. And uh, if you don't know who Moon Knight is, that's all right. He, he's new to you. But the comic book fans have been dying for this for a long time, as have I. And I'm a comic book fan. So that's what we're watching next tomorrow. Moon Knight, the very first episode on the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. I'll see you back here tomorrow with Moon Knight. Bye.